I've packed in my parachute and my nose cone. It makes it handling the rocket a lot easier. Next step, back to our rocket guide, is we're going to mount the tail fins. On this tail fin mounting guide, you can see it right there, there is a circle with three lines in it. And all we are going to do is center our rocket tube on there and draw those lines where they match the rocket tube, and that's where we're going to mount our fin. When we mount our fins, things we need to be aware of is that we're not in line with our guide straws, okay, so the, the fin itself isn't lined up with it, and then the rest of the rubber band that's sticking out the back, you want to make sure that your fin doesn't line up with that either. It just seems to cause turbulence, we've noticed. So, we're going to set this down on the table, and just use your marker, center it in, and then just mark it on the tube. We have three lines there now, and we'll just take our ruler, and draw the line straight up the rocket tube. You can tell if it's straight or not because it looks even all the way up. Let's just draw a line. Doesn't matter how long, really. We're going to install our tail fins now, so we're going to go back and find our tail fins that we cut previously. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure it's, there's our line. We're going to take our hot glue gun, we're going to run a nice little line of hot glue on there, and we're going to put our tail fin on. We're going to try and put it on as straight as possible and as perpendicular to the tube as possible. You don't want it leaning one way or the other because that's going to cause it to go out of line, lose its trajectory. So we're just going to take our hot glue gun run a nice straight line of glue. Take our tail fin, make sure you put the long edge against the rocket body. Straight as possible. We'll try and keep it straight up and down. This is where it's critical. It only takes a second for that glue to, to harden up. From this point on, you have to be careful how you handle your rocket because if you lay it down the wrong way and bend your tail fins, it's going to affect the way your rocket flies. So try and put it on the edge of a table. I'm out of screen right now. I'll move this one out of the way. I'll set this up on the little work stand. There we go. I'm going to move on. So here we go. We have our rocket, our nose cone, our parachutes inside, our motor mount, our motor stop is in there, we have our three fins, and we have our guide straws. We're just about there. We're going to try and make our rocket just a little bit more aerodynamic. What we're going to do is where we've glued the fins on, the glue itself has a little bit of a ripple. So we're going to put a little piece of tape in this area right here and that will smooth it out a little bit, make it just that much more aerodynamic and we'll be able to launch this thing relatively straight up in the sky. The easiest way to do that is we take some of our normal old masking tape. The easiest trick here, masking tape likes to curl up after you peel it off. We're just going to take it and we're going to fold it in half. That way now it kind of holds its shape. It's going to make it a little bit easier for us to install. We're going to take our rocket tube and we're just going to put the tape right inside the corner where the fin meets the tube. Okay. Don't worry that we have a bunch of excess on top. We'll deal with that in a minute. I'm going to show you how to do one, two, one fin and then I'll finish it up. Watch where your straws are located. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to finish up the other fins. I'll show you how it looks when we're done. I've put the tape on the edges of our tail fins. You can see that streamlines it so much nicer, makes it nice and neat. Okay. 